Hi guys, it's me, Kelly. I'm here at my classroom at Newbridge School. Uh, the video I have for you today was just a little too big for the studio. So we're gonna talk about Rube Goldberg machines, which is kind of a tongue twister, Rube Goldberg. So Rube Goldberg, that name is actually the name of a cartoonist, a dude who draws cartoons, way back from 1928. And what this guy did is he drew gar cartoons, oh boy, of these crazy machines that were doing something simple like flipping a light switch or watering a plant, but it had all these different parts and it took a really long time, but it was also kind of cool. So you might have heard of a Rube Goldberg machine because it's actually a trend on TikTok right now where people are making these on our in our houses, probably because we're stuck at home and people need something to do. I love Rube Goldberg machines because they do take a long time, but they're also pretty fun to set up. Um, and once you accomplish what you're trying to do, it's just so satisfying. So, um, a Rube Goldberg, the definition is a machine that's trying to do a simple task in the most complicated or creative way possible. So you've probably seen these, like I said, on TikTok or on YouTube. Um, if you haven't seen them before, I recommend just search YouTube for Rube Goldberg machine and you'll find a ton of really cool ones. I am not an expert, so the one I'm going to show you today will not be as cool as some of the ones on YouTube. So what I did is I built my own machine. Now the one I'm showing you is very simple. It only has a few steps. And even that took me about an hour to set up. So the more time you have, the more cool and complicated you can make your Rube Goldberg machine, okay? You can use literally any supplies from around the house. Anything, obviously with permission from your parents, <laughs> but anything that's safe to use and that you're allowed to use, um, you can find creative uses for. So you'll see I use some random books and toys and things from my classroom. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my Rube Goldberg machine all the way through when it runs, and then I'm gonna take my phone over and show you each part of it and how it works and how I set it up. Okay, so let's take a look. All right, guys, so you just saw my Rube Goldberg machine in action. I'm gonna show you each of the little parts. So it started up here, and this furniture is kind of handy. Um, I call this my maker space. It's where all my student supplies are, but it's nice because it's got these steps, so I wanted to use those. Because what you have to do is you have to build up enough energy to get things moving throughout the Rube Goldberg machine. So I'm using this height up here to build up some energy. So I started with some dominoes. Okay, that one's crooked, I don't know why. Um, I didn't wanna do a ton, because every time I knocked them over, I just set them back up again. And as you saw, it took me a few tries. So I've got some dominoes here. These fall over, so you start by pushing it. You are the first one to start it. And then what it does is it pushes this race car. So these are just some Hot Wheel tracks I had. You'll see that if I move this, I just tape down the track, nothing fancy. Then the car goes down the track. I'm not gonna actually send it down because it'll go too fast. And if I show you from the side, you can see that's pretty steep. So it builds, builds up quite a bit of energy. It goes down the track. And at the very bottom here, I have my marble. So as you probably saw, my task for this machine was to get the marble into my jar down here on the floor. Okay, it's just a little clear jar. So that was my task. So I started up there, I went down, the race car hits the marble and it pushes the marble. Now I needed to guide the marble down towards my jar. So I used these books. You can see I just set them up. There's two stacked up just to make it high enough to guide the marble. So if I push my marble, you can see it'll roll through here. And then I needed to curve it to get it to this tube. So I just set up the books and this one's a little out of place, but the force of the car pushes it and it rubs against this and it misses because I wasn't actually doing it correctly. But, okay, the book like this, but the roll, it, the roll goes this way. And then the goal is that it goes into the paper towel tube, which you can see it didn't have enough energy there because the car didn't push it. So it goes down and it lands into the jar there. Now, I had to play around with this part a lot. I had to arrange the books to get it to end up in the tube. Um, and then I also, you can see here, I have this drawer, drawer pushed out. And what that's doing is that's propping up the cardboard tube the way I want it. Because when I had it just straight down like this, you'd think that'd be easier. But for some reason, it had maybe too much energy and it kept bouncing and going out of the jar. All right, so that is my Rube Goldberg machine. 
All right guys, so when you're ready to start making your own Rube Goldberg machine, there's a couple things you're gonna wanna do. Step one is to choose your task. So for me, it was getting a marble into a jar, which was probably one of the simplest tasks I've ever, ever tried. <laughs> if you wanna go a little more complicated, you can try some of the ones I said earlier, like watering a plant, turning off a light switch, maybe just hitting a button, okay? Step two says gather. That means gather supplies, <laughs> okay? so. Look around your house, think about what you could use. I grabbed that cardboard tube, I grabbed my Hot Wheels track, I grabbed some tape, and then you can always grab more later. Step three is plan, and let me show you what I mean by that. You wanna plan kind of the steps of your Rube Goldberg machine. So I knew I wanted to start with dominoes just cause they're fun, and <laughs> I like to use dominoes. And then since I had the Hot Wheels, I said, well, that can hit the race car, which pushes it down the track, which can bump into the marble. And then I kind of added on some more stuff and said, okay, that marble, I said book track, meaning where I had those books lined up. And that's what guided it into the tube, which pushed it into the jar. So you can see that is nothing super fancy. I just wrote out those steps so I knew what I wanted to do. Okay, so if you want to sketch a picture, whatever you want to do, but always good to have a plan before you, number four, build, which is obviously when you're going to put all those things together. And then number five says test, test, test. But it really could be test times a million because you never know how many tries it's going to take before you get it in there. All right, guys, so that's it. That's how to make a Rube Goldberg machine. I know I didn't give you many directions. I more just wanted to share some ideas. Um, you guys are probably even better engineers than me. You can probably bring in all sorts of stuff, like maybe something with pulleys, maybe something swings. Um, but whatever you do, make sure you take a video or a picture and post it in the comment box so we can check it out. Remember that one of the most important traits of an engineer, like we talked about today on the inventions episode, most important thing is being able to fail and then keep trying. My machine probably failed at least 10, 15 times and I had a really simple machine. So if you make it more complicated, you might have to try it a lot more times before it finally works. But man, is it exciting when it does finally work. So share what you've created, work with your family, work with your uh, group at club, whoever you're with. Um, remember, more brains means more ideas. So group work is always a good idea. All right, good luck and we'll see you guys next time.